Hello, welcome to our math tutorial for today. In today's class, we are going to solve for y in 8 divided by square root of 2 to the power of y equal to y to the power of y. If you are new here, don't forget to like this video and also share this video with friends and colleagues. Now let's solve this question. We are going to uh, simplify this question. I haven't seen this question and uh, haven't seen that the things that connect these two fractions is the equal to sign. The first thing that should come to your mind is to cross multiply because if you have your uh, y divided by x to be equal to c, uh, this will give make your y to be equal to x c. So if we apply that here, we'll have our 8 to be equal to square root of 2 to the power of y multiplied by y to the power of y. So, I haven't seen this. We know that these two have the same powers. So, we'll bring them together in a fraction. And this will be what? square root of 2 multiplied by y all to the power of y because they both have same powers when you have your a to the power of x multiplied by b to the power of x this can be equal to a b multiplied all to the power of x so having done that we are going to continue to simplify now, at this point, you ask yourself, what do we do to simplify this equation? We are simply going to do something. Now, let's multiply both sides by a common value. If we multiply both sides by a common value, we will be heading somewhere. Now, let's multiply both sides by the square root of 2. So, that will give us 8 by the power of the square root of 2 h to the power of square root of 2 to be equal to square root of 2 multiplied by 1 all to the power of y this will be multiplied by the square root of 2 fine remember the law of indices if you have uh, a to the power of x all to the power of y this can be equal to a to the power of x, y. We'll apply that here. We'll have our h to the power of the square root of 2 to be equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by y all to the square root of square root of 2 multiplied by y. We are getting somewhere. And once we get this, the next thing we'll now do is to work on this. Now, if we have our uh, 8 to the power of square root of 2, that can give us 8 is 4 multiplied by 2, right? All to the power of the square root of 2. And this will be equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by y, all to the square root of 2 multiply by y so this is also equal to 2 square multiplied by now if we come here and we say a uh, square root of 2 all square it can still be equal to 2 so we we'll replace this with 2 why because if we clear this square with this square root you still have 2 so these two can be replaced with the square root of 2 Square all to the uh, uh, power of square root of 2 and this will be equal to square root of 2y all to the power of square root of 2y so we can simplify this further and this will give us uh, both half square root so 2 to the square root of 2 all square right and everything will be all to the power of the square root of 2 right and this will be equal to 
square root of 2y all to the power of square root of 2y. Now we'll see something here. Remember the law of uh, indices that if you have a to the power of x multiplied by y, that will be equal to a to the power of x, y. So if we apply that here, we're going to have that to become that to become the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of 2 all to the power of 2 multiplied by the square root of 2 and this will be equal to square root of 2y multiplied by the square root of 2y so if you have the rule that your x to the power of x is equal to y to the power of y. So you see that your x will be equal to y. Why? Because we have same base and same power. So if we have same base and we have same power, one will definitely uh, equate. So we we'll have uh, 2 the square root of 2 to equal uh, square root of 2y. So what do we have here? This can be divided by 2, square root of 2, and this can be divided by square root of 2. And if square root of 2 clears square root of 2, this clears this, and y will be equal to 2. That's the solution to that exponential equation. Now let's confirm to uh, see if our solution is truly correct. Let's check. To check, we're going to bring down the original equation. The original equation is 8 divided by the square root of 2 to the power of y. And that will be equal to y to the power of y. If we take 2 to be equal to y to be equal to 2, this will now become 8 divided by square root of 2 all to the power of 2 equal to 2 to the power of 2 and this will be equal to 8 divided by 2 we clear 2 and that will be 8 divided by 2 equal to 2 square is equal to 4 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 so 4 will be equal to 4 which tells us that the value x equal to 2 truly satisfies that exponential equation above. So you see, it's very easy. Do like this video and share with your friends and colleagues. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.